Hey guys, welcome back to the Cruise Rising Soul, also known as Jamal's Tube. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the different types of chanas and where you can find them. Chana is not just one fish, it's chana means snakehead. Snakeheads have different types of species. I'm going to try to keep this video short and brief. I won't go really in depth into different types of the chanas listed above simply because they are yeah, I think they deserve their own title and whatnot. But I will also link up to any of the fishes that I already have made videos to, so you can check them out. If you like content like this, if you like me, consider giving me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out any of my contents. And if you want, you can also put the alert button so that every time I post something, it notifies you. They will be divided in terms of their morphological, genetic, ecological, and geographical factors. So here's a breakdown on how chana species are commonly classified. Modern molecular studies have divided chana species into distinct evolutionary lineages often called species groups or clades. These include the Marulius group, the Micropeltis, Punctata group, Barca group, and lastly, the Blairi group. In terms of geographical origins, you can find them mostly in Asia. South Asian China, in countries such as India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Nepal. Some notable species that you may find are the China Marulius, Diplogramma Gachua, China Barca, or the Chana Orientalis. Somewhere down in the Southeast Asian countries, such as Thailand, Myanmar, Malaysia, Indonesia, you can find the Chana Micropeltis, Chana Lucius, Chana Striata, and lastly, the Chana Limbata. East Asian, such as China, Korea, or some parts of Russia, you can find the Chana Argus or the Chana Asiatica. Most aquarists will also categorize them in terms of size. Sorry, not just aquarists, but hexodermists as well as scientific researchers. Dwarf snakeheads are categorized because they do not grow more than 25 centimeters long. 25-30 is the longest that you may find them, especially in the wild. However, in captive bread, especially in your homes and in their tanks that you might be placing them, they will not grow too big. These examples can include the Chana Gachua, Andrao, Bleheri, and the Limbata. A lot of the times when you find them, they will be very, very tiny and you can fit them in a 30 centimeter tank, no problem. 30 centimeter a cube tank. However, as they grow, you can finally place them in a 1.5 feet or a 2 feet 60 centimeters tank. They will not grow more than 35 centimeters. Anything more is just an excessive space. They're not meant to be for community tanks. However, some species such as the Andrao or the Blairi, you could risk. Uh, perhaps you can try putting bigger sized fishes such as the angelfish or the denison barb are some examples that you can try if you want to however they might end up chasing each other and the water in the tank might be too turbulent as a result of them chasing each other so that might not make it peaceful for you and it's just not nice next we have the medium snake heads uh, these guys grow no more than 45 centimeters usually from 25 up to 50 centimeters long they require larger size tanks and experienced handlers because examples such as the china auranti maculata they prefer a colder water so if you live in an area that temperature fluctuates or mostly remains at a 30 and above celsius tank then perhaps the auranti maculata will not be a good choice for you they also also prefer tanks going up to a three foot minimum up to four to five feet tank to be comfortable and in their adult size the chana stewarti as well as the chana pleurophthalma Phthalma. and then lastly you got the giant snake heads these guys can go honestly from 50 centimeters up to 120 centimeters four feet anywhere from three feet up to six feet will be considered as large sized snake heads so the examples would be china micropeltis china marulius the china barca and the china argus 
They come in all shapes and sizes. These guys would be harder to train and also you need to really consider their maximum adult size. So you can get them in a really tiny size and put them in a small size tank, but they grow really big. In a month, they can go up to two, three inches long. So within the first year, they can grow from this tiny baby up to this long. If you start with a really small size tank, then you have to scoop them up. So if you're gonna go with the large size snake heads like the ones I've mentioned, try to keep in your mind that you will eventually have to get a big size tank. So I personally would start maybe in a two feet tank and then progress. Once they get bigger, scoop them up and put them in a four feet or better six foot size tank. So these fishes would be better when you have a pond or a mega tank at home. Unfortunately, because these guys are predator fishes, you cannot really put them in community tanks. You can. Some of them can go with community tanks. However, you need to consider the other fish, whether it's big enough. If you get a fish that is bigger than the snakehead's mouth, then you can be safe there. However, they might bully each other. They might always fight. This might be stressful for you and uh, something that you might have to consider because you might have to scoop one of them out or reorganize the whole tank. This will take more time. Instead of just sitting down and watching their tank and themselves getting used to the tank, now you actually have to figure out the other inhabitants in the tank. To keep a large sized snake head comes with a lot of considerations. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this content and at least through this video, you know where to go from henceforth, whether to choose the small one, middle sized or the large sized snake heads. You can write down in the comment section below what snake heads you like, which one you might go for, or if you already have snake heads, which kind of species are them. And let me know your experience so far in keeping them. Perhaps I can make a video commenting about you as well. Don't forget, comment down below, especially if you're interested or already have a snake head. That's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Have a great day, guys.